Today is the ninth day of the ten bulls kakuan, and I am in house arrest. I went to, I wanted to go to the main hall to give this provision and this discourse, but I was attacked heavily. I can't complain to the police. I cannot take him to the court. And uh, who are these people who are attacking me? And my people drag me into this small. shooting place and ask me shut your mouth and then we will start the discourse so i'm right inside and who are the people who attack me the rains the heavy rains <laughs> rains are hitting left and right outside and i got locked inside today's discourse for the public is cancelled and i am here in this hall to talk to you the ninth stage reaching the source Too many steps have been taken returning to the root and the source. Better to have been blind and deaf from the beginning, dwelling in one's true abode, unconcerned with that without. The river flows tranquilly on, and the flowers are red. How to return to your richness? Everybody knows. The person who is conscious knows you are the richest person. God has ever created, and everybody, for that matter, He has created maybe on different um, color and different faces, but the richness remains the same. It's God's tactic to give you the question for you to find out the answer, to find out whether you are conscious or unconscious. Too many steps have been taken returning to the root and to the source. When you are born. It has been phone spread, non-stop, like the circus. Animals were all caught, and the government decided that animals should be given the freedom because animal rights association have made a very big fight that it should be freed into the jungle, and all the birds, animals, and in that one tiger was also included. Was taken to the forest and left, and the tiger doesn't know what is forest because he has been non-stop fed with the meat. It seems, and how will he survive? And after a week's time, when they went to the jungle, they found dogs have bitten and killed the tiger and eaten him up. <laughs> Our children are also like that. If we spoon feed them and if we send them out into the world, they'll be bitten into pieces. You keep on feeding and you never make them strong. Too many steps have been taken to safeguard the child, not to allow the child to climb the tree, not to allow the child to jump into the pond and the river and the lakes to swim of its own, to dig, to melt with the mud. Nothing of that sort. Walking seven kilometers. I remember R. Kavita and her three sisters joined us. They were from the border of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. And our school children, every time we have Sunday, four kilometers runs, four kilometers cycling. And these children, oh, I, and I have to drive in the front. And one vehicle will be at the back. I'll be driving my my ambulance in the front. And these girls, they were running next to my ambulance, and they're always first. I couldn't believe they're just uh, puny, tiny, bony. But what a strength! And, and every games they were the first. Then I asked, uh, just uh, casually when we were chit chatting, she was telling, every day they walk seven kilometers to their school and come back seven kilometers. <laughs> On the way, they see the mango trees, they throw stones, climb the mango trees. Walking seven and seven, fourteen kilometers, that stage that has been disconnected. Too many steps have been taken, returning to the root and the source. Send them to the college, to the university. That also protection. They asked if you put a question came. If you put the gosling into a bottle, you put the gosling into the bottle, and after. You, It becomes big enough without breaking the bottle, without hurting the goose. How do you take it out? And the Zen master said, "The goose is out. <laughs> Why do you want to put it inside and allow it to grow big and then break your head? How to take it out 
without breaking the bottle, without hurting. You will break the bottle, will hurt. You will break your child. You will be hurt and the child will be hurt. Give them the freedom. Lean freedom, Jiddu Krishnamurti said. There will be intelligence. Intelligence flows. Intelligence is not manufactured. It is not cultivated. Intelligence is there with everybody. It comes out in the most beautiful form in, in freedom. Better to have been blind and deaf from the beginning. From the beginning, bl blind, blind and deaf. You don't see, you don't hear. When you are able to see and hear, then it's a homework. You have to compete. Please pass. Please study. You have to pass from first standard to second standard, third. You, continuously, that competition mentality given and made you made you sit inside that bottle. And now they are telling after you have grown up without breaking the bottle, without hurting you, how to take you out. You are suffocated, dwelling in one's true abode, unconcerned with that we thought. When you are in your own true abode, now you are back. You caught the bull, you caught your mind, you caught your heart. And Kavita Rani was going home. I asked, oh, today is Saturday, so you are going out with your husband for a beautiful dinner. She said, no, now after listening to your lecture yesterday, we have decided, no, we are not going to go outside and eat. Because you told, in that set to dosa, there was number two of the rat. <laughs> And Padma was telling the Bonda, she bought a Bonda inside that also there was number two of Ili. And everybody told in all the bakeries, all the bakeries, a lot of cockroaches and rats <laughs> are easily available. So uh, Kavita Rani said, no, no, no. We have decided anything we want, we buy it inside, we'll cook it, we'll eat it. So we are spend more time. Beautiful. You have come back dwelling in one's true abode. Unconcerned with that, without the river flows tranquilly. On the flowers are red. Now the river will flow, flowing water is fresh. Your mind will flow, the blood will flow, the energy will flow, the pipelines are clean. You are healthy. You are back to your truth sense. You are back to your family. You are back to your joint family. And you can see the tree so beautifully growing, so strong, which is called it the family tree. And so many people can take the shelter under the beautiful family tree. How to return to your richness? That was your richness.